in this industry is gonna lose some money so yeah anyways that's a no-brainer now i'm gonna jump straight into dxy dollar currency index a lot of our dollar currency index as you can see from the charts here we're on a strong upward move of the dollar currency index and i see that we just had a pretty much a small correction on the dollar currency index and you can see that the price just break through that particular support line and i think it's heading all the way down to 97.57 and here's us we're going to look for buying opportunity at 0.61 fibonacci retracement areas also this is a support area and also this is a particular upward ascending channel now we use the xy not to try by using the xy to navigate the market and let's crack on let's crack on to currency pairs now now the first of all just want to south in new zealand usd this was my tag for new zealand usd i see a further sell off and on new zealand usd but i think here could be a good buying opportunity for new zealand usd but will be a temporary upward move based on that particular depreciation of the dollar currency index so i see probably a price to come at those areas here and have a bit of correction up the way up here but it's you know the new zealand usd is termed to go for further sell-off and what if what we see what we're waiting for particular opportunity is to see the price to break out here and when the price break out through that's where we're going to take our trade and that's where we're going to see a lot of momentum towards the downside secondly we're moving on to the euro usd usd also we're looking at uh, let me go back to my four hours time frame usd one of the best best setups out there we're looking for a sell off on usd at that particular line over there at 1.1197 1 if you draw a fibonacci here put our resistance line put our patterns there that gives us a really good technical setup to look for further sell off that second and thirdly look at australian us dollar australian US dollar Australia's dollar is tempted for the further weakness based on interest interest rate differentials and interest rate swaps. Furthermore, the economy of this particular country is really, really weak um, due to trade war. Now, my take for this coming week on the Australian USD, this trade is extremely good. Now, compared to the opportunity cost, if you're, should I trade New Zealand or should I trade Australian USD? I'm going to trade Australian USD far most because the setup here to really confirm our setup that this is a breakout and you should see a bit of correction and that retest of that area there at 0 0.6684 and a further sell off all the way down to all the way down all right this is going to be a huge sell off guys so you have to pick your own support level or a particular um extended level that you see as a tech profit but that's my prediction only for there australian usd i'm gonna walk you through to um gbpsd gbpsd um still the boris johnson effect still holds on gbp also technicals you see the further trend further down also the dxy strength that is a perfect catalyst to look for further sell off the gbpsd all you have to do just to be extremely extremely patient to look for that um retest around 1.23845 and look for the all the way down sell off on that gbp usd um moving on to usd jpy usd jpy is the perfect trade for the coming week why because um fundamentals of this particular currency pair they're so in favor to us if a price action person first of all hefty sell off after the trade war was announced recently i think well, that was friday by donald trump and so what is the ripple effect the ripple effect the trade war caused uncertainty in the market which led to increase of bond prices and led to increase of the seven safe haven assets which are gold and also jpy japanese yen is a safe haven for a lot of investors and traders and that's why you see there's a huge weakness on the usd jpy usd jpy possess a lot of um, opportunity also usd jpy euro jpy and gbp jpy all these three particular pairs are huge a lot of potential on these pairs now smart trade all they do is mm, try to offset that risk um no not not risk i'll say offset that the propensity of let's say yeah 
offset that propensity of imbalance in the mo of, of a trade because usd pro uh, propels really really good in terms of high and creates high and high levels um so it's pretty much imbalanced right to take is the JPY. so you have to look for gbp jpy and euro jpy because gbp has a really bad um fundamental so it's absolutely negative bearish trade um currency i'm talking about brexit issues euro as well because of poor economies um economies numbers so you're going to have a really good sell-off and a lot of certainty and uh, dependability on euro jpy and gbp jpy um but uh yeah that's that's your homework just go and analyze those markets uh just look for particular bit let's say a bit of a pullback here and look for that retest there that could be good good entry also for gbp jpy so you see that's why these particular two currencies they're bleeding too much compared to jpy okay moving on moving on now we're jumping on to commodities now my commodities my take for commodities is gold i'm looking for a bit of correction to this level of so 14.02 um 0.86 and look for a bit of a, a buy limit opportunity right there and taking the price all the way up um the fundamentals already talked about here about you know trade war and the certainties in the market also economic recession give us a good opportunity to buy gold uh moving on moving on moving on this is going to be extremely short video for you guys because i recorded an earlier video that was almost 25 minutes and it just crashed i lost the video so i'm absolutely pissed off and that's i'm rushing things up but please pay attention because you know it's, it's quite easy stuff yeah so for oil last week we saw a consolidation until the trade war updates on friday by donald trump which catalyzed the price to the downside right to the downside we saw wti sell off remember it's just demand and supply when you have a poor economic growth in the world go oil is going to be affected negatively so the trade war escalates with donald trump put more sanction and trade and tax more on china imports to the us so I see further sell off on um on WTI or probably probably um a bit of a, a pullback around those areas and the retest and look for the further sell off all the way down. So this is my take on on oil. Now we have two oil. You have WTI and UK UK oil. Both of them behave the same, but they have the different prices. So as a trader, you need to look for something called opportunity cost. What kind of setup is good, and you can make good risk rewards, and also has high probability of winning. So I see UK oil has a wide probability of winning based on current fundamentals, and also the most important part, the technicals. The UK oil has already confirmed that breakout right there. So I see this area as a potential area to look for further sell-off. That retest confirmed us this is a you know, continuation on the downside until those areas of 59.90 and maybe that there's going to be a further breakout all the way down. So that's my take on the UK oil. Now we're going to jump to cryptocurrencies. There's a huge demand by uh, clients to ask for and to us to analyze cryptocurrencies. Now we're going to jump on straight to Bitcoin. All right, guys. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. You should trade Bitcoin. Why? Because there's a law of potential in terms of price and liquidity. Now, look here. Last week we predicted. If you go, if you if you want to prove this, just go to our previous video uh, that we posted last week where we had this prediction on Bitcoin um, when we scored 17.31%. 17 17.31%. 17 that guy. That's huge. All right. That's huge um so what do you see for this coming week i see probably my take for bitcoin will be that breakout if that happens i would like to see that breakout also this looks like a maybe formation of consolidation in the market see the price tend to be respecting this rectangular rectangle the sideways movement so uh, this could be a, a consolidation zone or this could be you know uh we call it a breathing stage where the price might break out and form a new high so let's see let's see on that one uh moving on moving to litecoin litecoin us dollar oh this is a beauty this is absolutely a beauty look at the uptrend we have this very good smooth higher highs and that creates really good certain um certainty in the market so i'm gonna just right on monday or tuesday i'm gonna buy litecoin here 
oh just wait for the breakout right there and look for further advancement on litecoin um ethereum usd also is a beauty look at that look at that the price is respecting that particular trend line up the way there the technicals are absolutely spot on now i look here for further advancement on ethereum um so i look for something like that maybe like this and further advancement like that for the litecoin okay okay now we're jumping lastly to indices indices super good to trade indices a lot of money there guys it's super easy to trade indices and last look on how we go to trade them remember guys last week we talked about the dax the dax is the german 30 um best companies um talking about bosch bmws mercedes-benz volkswagen blah 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 all those kind of engineering companies Whew. so what do you see on the dax we predicted the market to do that and this what happened we see the price break through that particular support line it was a bit of a retest and a bit of call it this is what we call the market was trying to play with our heads um just like when you you know when you do casino yeah the market was buff bluffing um but that um did not buff us anything like that so we took a risk reward of 1.7 and we scored 21,873 pips on that particular trade that's a lot of money guys now we, you know the price is all the way down so watch my tech for this week i don't see any particular setup suitable for the dax i'm going to wait until wednesday to see those kind of structures formulate and the nasdaq 100 that's your one of the most favorable um what do you call it uh most favorable indices a lot of tanzanians guys like to trade nowadays you can see that now let's analyze on that one i see this was what i see on the nasdaq probably probably the price to come here and see the further retest and the pullback all the all the sorry continuation all the way down but overall the trend for the nasdaq seems quite good but there's a bit of weakness probably there's a reversal that might happen on this index so uh, let's see let's see what happens for the coming week by my simple trade we're going to be that one i'm gonna look for that pullback retest then i'm gonna take my trade now guys that's it for today that's it for me on this sunday remember guys subscribe to our channel to get live updates on every video that comes out a lot of videos are going to come out soon guys a lot of videos trust me guys we're working on it and we're creating online subscription service for you guys just specifically just you don't uh, if you are not flexible enough to create flexibility for you guys so if you're working nine to five at the evening you can find your own time to read and